Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 899, the last one in the 800s. Tomorrow starts episode 900, 100 more to go to get to 1,000 episodes. The category today, Friday Night Pub Quiz, number 24. This is everybody's favorite category, 21 random category questions. Good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. Contrasted with poisons, which make bad things happen when they are eaten or absorbed through the skin, this is usually transmitted by a bite or a sting. What is this toxin present in mambas and cobras? The answer we're looking for is venom. Question number two. The first practical model was invented in 1802 by William Symington, and Robert Fulton used it on a passenger boat. What is this invention which uses water vapor to perform mechanical work? The answer is the steam engine. Question number three. In this biome, low temperatures lead to stunted vegetation. There also tends to be long periods of daylight or darkness, sometimes up to four months at a time. What is the name of this biome where a layer of permanently frozen subsoil called permafrost exists? The name of that biome is Tundra. Question number four. Human land use, especially industrial agriculture and urban sprawl, has exacerbated this natural process. This process can occur simultaneously with the chemical or physical breakdown of the minerals and rocks. What is the name of the process that terrace building and tree planting can limit? Those processes both limit erosion. Question number five. What novel features the line, I, poor miserable man, being shipwrecked during a dreadful storm, in the offing came on shore in this dismal, unfortunate island, which I called the Island of Despair, all the rest of the ship's company being drowned, and I myself almost dead. That line is from the book, Robinson Crusoe. Question number six. Another word for this type of fracture is open because the bone is exposed to contamination. What is this type of fracture called in which bone protrudes from the skin? Sometimes it's called an open fracture, but most often it's known as a compound fracture. Question number seven. This country is the world's largest producer of olive oil. Perched on a sea bordered by three continents, this is the closest European nation to Africa. What is the name of this country found on the Iberian Peninsula? The answer is Spain. Question number eight. Fibromyalgia affects bones. The osteotype results in cartilage loss and the rheumatoid type includes joint inflammation in what class of painful conditions often experienced by seniors?
fibromyalgia, osteo, and rheumatoid are all types of arthritis. Question number nine. Each angle inside a regular one of these is 120 degrees. For a given perimeter, it maximizes internal area so bees are smart to build their honeycombs in this shape. What is the name of this shape with six sides? The answer is a hexagon. Question number 10. Some of his famous statues include the earliest Pieta and a statue of David. He also designed the dome of St. Peter's Basilica. Who is this Renaissance artist who painted frescoes in the Sistine Chapel? The answer is Michelangelo. Question number 11. Ronald Reagan delivered a speech at Brandenburg Gate demanding that Gorbachev tear down what structure built in 1961 to curb the flow of refugees from East Germany to West Germany. Ronald Reagan told Gorbachev to tear down the Berlin Wall. Question number 12. In Spanish, this term was the cowboy's procedure for collecting cattle such as moving them to a new pasture. It is now the official sport of Wyoming. What is this term that now means a competition that includes barrel racing, steer wrestling, and goat tying? The term we're looking for is rodeo. Question number 13. This phenomenon commonly contains sulfuric or nitric compounds and causes gravestones to become unreadable as pieces flake off. What is this form of pollution that comes from clouds and has a pH less than 7? The answer is acid rain. Question 14. The Suez Canal links this sea to the Red Sea, and the Dardanelles link it to the Black Sea. Islands in this sea include Ibiza and Sicily. What is this beautiful body of water? The answer is the Mediterranean Sea. Question 15. Luke Howard first proposed the system for classifying these in 1802. Solar energy is reflected back into space from Earth by these. What are these objects, examples of which are Nimbus, Cirrus, and Cumulus? Those are types of clouds. Question 16. Your body needs this vitamin to help it produce collagen. Jacques Cartier discovered a tea made from the leaves containing this vitamin cured his men of scurvy. What is the common name for this vitamin which humans ingest when consuming citrus foods? The answer is vitamin C. Question 17. Harold Gray drew comic strips about what 11-year-old character who lived a hard knock life became important in the life of billionaire Oliver Warbucks 
and was known for her curly red hair. That character, her name was Annie, or Little Orphan Annie, to be specific. Question 18. There are about 7.48 of these in a cubic foot, 42 of these in a barrel of crude oil, and 26.4 of these in a hectoliter. What is this unit of volume equal to 128 fluid ounces, or 4 quarts? The answer is one gallon. Question 19. Lamarck came up with an early version of this theory, which stated that traits acquired in life can be passed on to successive generations. What is this theory positing that small mutations lead to complex and diverse life forms, presented by Charles Darwin in The Origin of Species? That theory is called evolution. And question 20. Economist Rick Nevin published a study linking exposure to this substance with violence. Found in some paints and batteries, this can cause abdominal pain, anemia, and irritability. What is the name of this dangerous substance that has been found in many household items? That substance is lead. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Last night was my final hosting of live trivia here in England wrapped that up the day before was my last day of work here in England so tonight we're going down to London to celebrate there's a few things we haven't done yet like the Tower of London uh, we're gonna go see the Golden Hind which I've seen before but now it's open and we can actually get on there and walk around so I'm gonna go check out that there's a bunch of little things that we're gonna do tonight and tomorrow in London we are wrapping up our time here in England Next week, we're heading back to America to close on a house, buy a car, do a couple things like that. Then we got to come back to England for a few weeks. In those few weeks, I'll be doing trivia as normal. And then at the end of July, we'll be going back to America full time. Once I get set up there, we can uh, pick up steam, get a little bit ahead on trivia quizzes so I stop being late all the time. I'm really looking forward to getting down to a schedule uh, that's a little bit more conducive to trivia than what I've currently got. I appreciate everybody who's patient. I appreciate everybody who comments suggestions, not just for quiz categories, but uh, also, you know, suggestions for the channel as a whole. Because when I get back to America, I plan on doing a little more effort, putting a little more work into this channel. I've got a lot of good ideas coming. A lot of them have came from you. So if you've got some good ideas, I'll take them at roadtrippia at gmail.com or you can just leave them in any of the comments. I'll probably see them. Anyways, here's question 21 for Friday Night Pub Quiz number 24. In 1872, this was established as the world's first national park. Passing through it are the Snake River, the Lewis River, and a river sharing its name. What is this park in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming? The world's first national park is Yellowstone National Park. All right, that's it. Thanks again. Have a great Friday night. Have a great weekend. 
I'll probably be late tomorrow because I'm not sure what time we're getting back from London and I did not do Saturday nights in advance, but I will get caught up on Sunday and get ahead by Monday. See you then.